Ladies and gentlemen, boy, do I have a treat as special for you tonight. And I lost my train of thought. That's fucking great. Blooper time. No, just kidding. All right, so I'm going to be making beef jerky over the next couple of days. And, well, yeah, I've got all my goop, gobbly goop, my saucy wasps, and a pot to soak in it over a couple of days. And some Ziploc bags for good measure. You never know. Now, if the video is kind of shaky and weeble wobble and, well, I'm too poor for a gimbal and I can't figure out what the hell I did with my tripod, so you're going to have to put up with it. Sorry. Anywho, so let's get this process started. This is going to be part, part one, numero uno of beef jerky. Now, I like to uh, just kind of do things off the cuff here and. Just kind of pour it all in there. Yummy. A little bit of a uh, corporate chilling. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not sponsored by these guys at all. But for just about every one of these packets of meat, you're going to need one of these bottles. Kind of reminds me of that goopy guy in that one Star Trek episode that killed... Uh, um, the only yellow shirt to ever die. What was her name? The security lady. So, usually I go by some measurements, but today I'm just kind of winging it. I'm going to have a little bit of paprika. Yeah, that will do her. <laughs> Alright. Now this, if you like yours, a lot of spicy, put a lot. If you like it a little spicy, put a little. If you don't like it spicy at all, don't put any red pepper flakes. Now before, I was thinking, God damn, I am never, ever, ever going to let anybody see this recipe until I've, you know, made my own business out of it. But, to tell you the truth, I did a little bit of copyright searching and son of a bitch, you can, uh, basically have the copyright once you've put your own thing out there and you can prove that hey fucker I made it first <laughs> with a little bit of salt a little pepper this one's almost empty so I'm gonna toss it in there okay, we're gonna need more of that ground thyme second mag There we go. Ground oregano. Side by side without the label. You, you really can't tell this stuff apart. Again, if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. If you like a lot, put a lot. If you like a little, put a little. I put a medium amount here. And this stuff, I don't know what magic it holds but it holds a lot of magic and it makes a great beef jerky all right so now we need to come over to the dingle loppers no not that one no where the hell are they sorry if you see wires hanging around again i don't have my tripod and I'm... oh son of a diddly i have to grab another one that one's dirty i'll pick it up in a minute Mix her all together. Whoa, wire snagging and stuff. Good lord, I can't remember the name of that lieutenant that killed Star Trek, the security lady. The one that did all data. Whatever. So, you get your magic zippy zoppy bag. Open that as best you can. Now, you don't want to rinse this. Usually, I do when I cook it, but this stuff doesn't technically cook when you're making beef jerky. It just dries out. When you dry it out, it kills all the germs, and you kind of want it thirsty straight out of the package like that. Usually, when I put my meat, on a pan or something right before cooking it I will rinse it off 
But nope, not this stuff. I will not do that with this. You need the meat thirsty, effectively. You don't want to get it dripping wet, so that way it really soaks in the sauce prior to, uh, you know, sticking it in the Ziploc bag. So we're going to get a whole bunch of this crap done. Listen to that dry, almost dry meat from that soaker pad with a tampon in there, or whatever the hell you want to call it. Getting nice and good and soaking, slopping and dripping and sticking in the bag. No! Don't mind if you make a mess, but don't be dropping my meat. Damn Ziploc bags. Or Zippy Zopper bags from Great Value. Oh, there's a chunk that came off. We'll have to stick that in there. So, one. File it. The filing cabinet. There's one bag made. Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> I don't use them, but yes, I do have them. can try to do this in a way that doesn't make a horrendous mess. So my brother, who lives with me, unfortunately, for me, <laughs> doesn't get mad at me for making a mess. Although half of this is probably going to go to him. Maybe. We'll see. Now you want to get the real thin stuff. Don't want to get a full size chunk of steak because that will take fucking days to dry out in the smoker and become actual day beef jerky. I'm going to jerk it right now. I'm marinating it. I just realized I was drifting off and ogling the good stuff. I'm still making even good stuff. Sorry about that. Again, don't have my fucking tripod, I can never find it when I need it. Let's get a little more sloppy. Sloppy as a sloppy Joe. Now, that's done and dealt with. File it. Alright, now... Here comes the tricky and peculiar part. Let me see if I can do some kind of funky jabberwock. I don't know what the hell I'm doing nonsense here. But I'm going to take the half of this crap. I'm going to pour it into the bag. Take the other half of the crap. I'm going to pour it in the other bag. Damn it, I made a mess. Shit. Oh well. It ain't good to cook it unless you make a mess, right? Anywho. So thanks for watching. Keep your plunder in a chest. We'll see you tomorrow.